Taco Bell Volcano Menu. Now you may be wondering, what is that? Get your taste buds ready. Taco Bell's Volcano Menu is once again erupting at the fast food chain's hotspots across the US. The return of the Volcano Burrito, Volcano Taco, and Lava Salas. For the first time since 2016, it's been long awaited by the restaurant's devotees. You see, there are people out there that were like, bring back the Volcano Menu. They had pitchforks in the streets. They were burning down buildings. Like people, the people wanted the Volcano Menu. Like people are serious about the volcano menu they were really twisting taco bell's tits huh? for it so this first started in 1995 and it was just a limited run promotional item but here we are like almost 30 years later and people are still demanding it so they're bringing it back and bringing it back and then bringing it back kind of like nacho fries like they really blue balls us like they know that they could keep nacho fries on the menu they're really like gripping our nipple hairs they give us what we want and then they take it away i really don't f with that like keep it on the f menu okay oh it comes with a red taco shell too i've never had it before they say it's the spiciest taco ever i think that's kind of bullshit. you know it's a fast food chain you will never have a really spicy item at a fast food place because they they need to appeal to the world you know people that really like spicy items and like like taking shits that burn their asshole that's like five percent of the world maybe less a little kid sued mcdonald's because his chicken nugget burnt his thigh it's been almost 10 years the volcano menu has not been around and here it is baby Let's go get it. Shout out to Taco Bell. Probably the best place to go when you're drunk. And look at the top. It kind of looks like a titty. What's up, MTV? Welcome to my crib. Oh, here we are, baby. Oh my God, that looks so orgasmic. The volcano menu. We're going to get both these items. Let's go. So I'm going to get the volcano combo. Choose my drink. Oh, also they have a new freeze. Watermelon berry lemonade freeze. Okay, or the watermelon berry freeze. Okay, probably the watermelon berry. Okay, let's check out. All right, yo. Okay, Hugh J. That stands for Hugh Janus. If I could put the whole name, you know I would. All right, the volcano menu is ordered now we wait you want to order something yeah i got it it's coming now they're gonna spit in it oh my god they're serving piss juice i gotta make friends so my food doesn't get spit in <laughs> could i get a diet a uh, diet pepsi mama bear likes that oh thank you so much the watermelon's out you know it's fine though diet pepsi you know it'll work mama bear's getting impatient what do you think that key leads to what if it leads to a big vault filled with tacos just imagine. I'm in Taco Bell Purgatory right now. I'm in the land in between where you order and you get your food. This is taking so long. It's like, dude, if I was in the drive-thru, like you would have taken like two seconds. Like, why are you treating me differently? Because I'm going inside. Like, because I'm a human, because I don't want to be in a freaking mechanical vehicle, because I just like want to go and walk up and order my food and you're making me wait 30 minutes to get my food when in the drive-thru. You wouldn't make me wait that long. You'd make me literally wait two minutes because then the drive-thru gets all long and then you look bad. But now I'm in here and I just don't exist. Two thousand years later. Thank you so much. Yeah, good night. I didn't see it, I promise. I love you. So like that Taco Bell worker, I felt like we were making a connection. Like I was seeing the sparkle in her eyes and we were just like connecting like on a different wavelength. And then she hit her arm on something and I got the egg and I just had to leave. Taco Bell's volcano menu, let's get into it. So here we have the volcano taco and the volcano burrito. Let's get into the volcano taco first. So what makes the volcano taco special is that it's red and it has lava sauce. Oh, it's like the spider whopper. It's like the spider whopper. They should have did a Spider-Man out with it. Cheers. Mm. Whoa, that's fucking hot. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. They got a grip on my fucking testicles right now. Holy fuck. It's like Satan's pissing in my mouth. Oh my God, I didn't think it'd have that cake. You know, at fast food restaurants, they don't usually have actual hot items. Like if you gave an old white granny this, she would literally die like this. What is the taste of volcano sauce? What is Taco Bell volcano sauce? It's a spicy nacho cheese sauce that adds a fiery kick. Dude, this shit kicked my ass. Like I did not think it'd be this hot. I gotta go in again. I already did it right there. Oh, oh my God, sweet heavens of Betsy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah! Oh my God. Sandpaper my ass crack. Oh my God. Oh, I was seeing stars. Got lava sauce all over my crotch. That felt almost like a food challenge. It looks like I literally like have bloody cum and I just like burst it all over my seat right now. They say never eat a taco on a first date. This is why. It's everywhere. It's all over my crotch region. So for the rating, I'd have to say, hmm. First of all, I'd say Taco Bell tacos are kind of like a three out of five. There's a lot of good tacos in the world. So being that the normal tacos are a three out of five, I'd have to say that this is like, oh dude, 
dude. Honestly, I'm gonna have to say it's a two out of five because it's less enjoyable than a regular taco. I could literally only think about the heat. Like this is coming from like a normal person's standpoint, not like a person that enjoys eating really spicy food, messing up their stomach and then like shitting flames. Like I could not enjoy it. Taco Bell, you're really supposed to enjoy. I don't know if I'm seeing the hype yet. Maybe the burrito will impress me. Oh my God. I wish that the actual burrito was red. Like, come on, dude, where's the red 40? So this is the Volcano Double Beef Burrito. I think I'm more excited for this because I'm more of a burrito guy in general. I'm just not that much of a taco guy, you know? Like, I like burritos. Like, I like throwing all that shit in one place and wrapping it in a blanket. So this will be exciting. Here we go. Oh, there's like Fritos in here. Oh! Oh, ha, ha, ha. This one's back in a kick. Look at the inside. That's nothing to play with. Oh my god, when it hits your uvula, oh my god, everything's getting dizzy. I'm not a fan of rice and burritos. I just don't think that it adds that much flavor. This reminds me of whenever I did the one chip challenge. I remember one day I ate two one chip challenges back to back. Let me tell you, the worst part was when I sat on the toilet. It felt like I was giving birth. I know that I'm a male and I've never given birth, but like I sat on that fucking toilet and I swear to God, I was like shitting the antichrist. My whole stomach felt like the pit of fucking hell. It was literally just Hershey squirts, but it felt like I was literally shitting a Chipotle burrito. Like it felt like my asshole was like stretching like 10 inches in diameter. I had like my feet on the seat like this, you know, I had like my little toes up on the seat, like in fetal position, but I made it through it. It was like an hour. When something's too hot, like I don't get that. I don't get that. It's like, I don't know. It's like a fetish for people. Like people that like really, really spicy items. I feel like it's a sexual thing, you know? Feels like the guys that stick like the rods in their dicks or like people that have like fart fetishes. It's like this weird fetish. Like they're getting turned on by like destroying their stomach and like shitting flames. Okay, here we go. I can already tell you this is better than the taco. Mm. So like the shining part of this is definitely the little tiny chips in there because like adds a nice little crunch. It's definitely the star of the show. I think this would be really lame if it didn't have those little chip pieces in it. It's just so hot. It's just so hard to enjoy. You know, I really want to enjoy my Taco Bell. It's just so hard to enjoy it. What's up? Can you move so I can put gas, please? Yeah, I'm Thank sorry. You. Thank you. I love you. So I'd say like without the heat, that burrito was like honestly a four out of 10, but with the heat, three out of 10. Bro, the heat just was not making it good. Like I just think it made it taste worse. I just gonna get behind it. You know, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna join the volcano coal. I can't get behind it. The volcano meal as a whole, three out of five, three out of five. It's not even the good spice. It's not even the spice that like adds a nice flavor. You know, like Takis, Takis are good. Like what would Takis be without heat? But that's just how it is. You know, I love Taco Bell. I just don't think it's an item that could stick around. I want to see you guys try it. Maybe you'll like it. If you want to be in the live audience of these videos right here, then go to twitch.tv slash jakeweber69 and turn on my notifications. If you want to watch it live, it's a lot of fun with everyone here. Shop my merch. Look at that. Wow. At nonameofficial.com and stream my music. Love you guys so much.